Okay, 6.6, .6, use proportionality theorems. Theorem 6.4, if a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides, like, like as shown in the diagram, then it divides the two sides proportionally. So basically, if TU is parallel to QS, then RT over TQ equals RU over US. So this over this equals this over this. Likewise, if a line divides two sides of a triangle proportionally, then it is parallel to the third side. So basically, if this over this equals this over this, then TU is parallel to QS. So for example, in the diagram, QS is parallel to UT. Um, RQ is 10, RS is 12, ST is 6. We need to find this. Okay? We actually don't even need to label it as X. We could just label it, we could just leave it as QU. So we know from this theorem that RQ over QU, this over this, equals RS over ST, this over this. RQ is 10, RS is 12, ST is 6. And this is the triangle portionality theorem. Okay. So we can cross multiply. I've got 60 equals 12 times QU. If I divide both sides by 60, I get 5. I'm not, sorry, not 60. Divide both sides by 12. 60 divided by 12 is 5. All right. Let's go on to page 2. A spoiler for remote remote controlled car is shown where AB equals 31. I'll write this down. Millimeters. BC equals 19 millimeters. Hmm. CD equals 27, and DE equals 23. Explain why BD is not parallel to AE. All right, so we know from the previous, from the theorem we just learned, if these lines are parallel, this line is parallel to this line, then these would have to be equal. CD, as we know, is 27. DE is 23, CB is 31, BA is 19. These are not equal. 27 over 23 does not equal 31 over 19. You can't even simplify them at all. So BD is not parallel to AE. All right, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. Let's go on to page three. Okay. Theorem 6.6, .6, if three lines inter or three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they divide the transversals proportionally. This is very similar to the previous theorem. Basically, UW over WY equals VX over XZ. Okay. If a ray bisects a triangle, then it divides the opposite sides into two segments, into segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. So, AD over DB equals CA over CB. All right, let's do an example. A farmer's land is divided by a newly constructed interstate. The distances are shown in meters. Find the distance CA between the north border and the south border of the farmer's land. Okay, so we have these three parallel lines, um, and we are trying to find CA. That's this whole distance here. Basically, we already have AB. If we can just find BC, we can add these two together and get the whole thing. Now, we know CB over BA has to equal um, DE over uh, EF. 
CB, we don't know. Actually, you know what? They want us to use property 4, which I guess can work. Property 4 uh, of proportions, if you guys remember, is when you add these two together on top. So CB plus BA, and this would be DE plus EF. Okay, these are equivalent. CB plus BA is CA, which is what we're trying to find. BA, we know, is labeled up here as 2,000. Okay. Um, DE plus EF would be 3,000 plus 2,500. And EF is 2,500. Okay. So this is, once again, 2,000. This becomes 5,500 over 2,500. Okay. Um, I'm going to add another step in here. The zeros cancel out. 55 over 25, you divide top and bottom by 5, you get 11 over 5. So, 5 times CA equals 22,000. Divide by 5. CA equals um, 4,400. So the distance between the north border and the south border is 4,400 meters. All right, let's go on to the last page. In the diagram, angle DEG is congruent to angle GEF, and it's labeled for us. Use the given side lengths to find the length of DG, that's X. Because um, EG is an angle bisector of angle DEF, then you can apply theorem 6.7. Basically, these sides are going to be proportional to these sides. So let GD equal X as labeled. GF is going to be 14 minus X. Okay? So GF over GD. GF is, let's see here, 14 minus X. And GD is, is X. Um, EF and ED. EF is 12. ED is 8. So here we can cross multiply. I'm going to put the 12x over here just because that's how they have it set up. And I'm going to distribute all in one step. 8 times 14 gives you 112. So I have 112 minus 8x. I'm going to add 8x to both sides. So I get 20x equals 112. We divide by 20, pull out the calculator, One twelve divided by 20, 5.6. Alright, and I'll let you guys do the two checkpoints, that's all.